It's hard to put into words the sheer impact that ERC-20 tokens have had on the crypto world. They are single-handedly responsible for the several billion dollar ICO industry, and they played a big role in making cryptocurrencies more mainstream. Before we get into exactly what they are, let's talk a little bit about their history. When Ethereum began to explode, developers were rushing to the ecosystem looking to create their decentralized applications. Many launched initial coin offerings, or ICOs, as a ways to fund their work. As such, there were suddenly a lot of new tokens being created on Ethereum, and that was causing a whole host of issues. Imagine an arcade. Typically, if you want to play games in an arcade, you have to change your money for arcade tokens. But once you've done that, you walk up to the machine and find that it takes a different size token. The token you got at the door doesn't work, and you need to exchange those ones for the correct ones somewhere else. And you notice this with every machine. Each token is either a different shape or size, and there's no way for you to use the tokens you got at the door. The ERC-20 token standard is the arcade telling the machines that they have to work together. All ICOs had to be built under the ERC-20 standard, which ensured they would interact with each other seamlessly. Accounts and wallets could send, receive, and transfer each token in the same way they would every other token. This sounds kind of silly now because it's easy to take for granted. But at the time, the function and operation of every new token launch could be drastically different. This was a huge issue for scaling. If developers wanted to work together and have interoperable applications, they had to study each other's code bases and learn exactly how those two different tokens would interact. On a one project to one project basis, that might work out. But when we're talking about an ecosystem of thousands of tokens and projects, it's never gonna happen. And so, the ERC-20 standard solved this problem. At its core, it's a set of rules and regulations that create a blueprint for Ethereum-based tokens. This blueprint ensures that all contracts, accounts, wallets, and any other type of actor on the network knows exactly what each token is and what to do with it. It also makes it a lot easier for developers to create tokens, as they don't need to start from ground zero every time. They have a template to work from. Because of this, it's undeniable that the ERC-20 standard changed the face of Ethereum and cryptocurrency. At one point, nearly 95% of cryptocurrency market share was ERC-20-based tokens, showing that this was certainly an important development. As the Ethereum platform grows and evolves, so do the token standards. And as time goes on, it appears that ERC-20 is slowly going to be phased out as new and more robust standards move in. But no matter what happens to the infamous ERC-20 standard, its enormous impact cannot be ignored.